Hello everyone and welcome back to Sapsari. Well, uh, we wanna continue on our journey, our adventure, but we are kind of stuck in the sewer at the moment, so... You stand in a cavernous sewer tunnel filled knee deep with slow flowing stench filled with water. It is pitch black. You could be standing on a mountain top or inside a coffin, except that it's for a single speck of light somewhere in the far distance. Well, uh, this is... This is Saki. Why would I wait? Actually, let's make a move. Tunnels disappear off into a darkness. Okay. So let's see. I see there are two exits from here. So maybe that's why that way seems to be more straightforward. So I gonna go head from the light, I guess. You make your way up the tunnel, away from the distant light. I know it's stupid. I know. <laughs> it is slow progress as you creep through the dark. Keen not to trip over into the muck. The distant light still grows closer. Whatever it is, it is moving quicker than you. Ice cold water drips from the ceiling and runs down your neck. Okay, so something or someone is following me. Who would be in the sewer though? Call out. You cup your hands to your mouth and bellow. Who goes there? <laughs> the marching feet stop instantly. There is a pause. I'm armed! <laughs> you declare. The pause continues. Then suddenly the walls are filled with the a blood curdling cry like molten iron feeling a crucible. The feet begin to pound forward, approaching at speed. Okay. Shadows move in the far gloom of the sewers. That's right. You dug into a, a alcove in the wall of a tunnel. You wait, and within a few moments, the tunnel is filled with goblins that are not one or two, but whole army led by a tall, stocky elder goblin, and chanting a weird, good troll song. Stay low. They march straight up to where you are crouching in the dark. A hundred, maybe two hundred of the creatures. What are they doing here beneath Kare? Inside the city walls? You wait in tense silence as the goblins march past your hiding place. At the rear are two goblins generals. How many more soldiers does the Mad King want? The fifth asks the seconds as they pass your position. Those aren't. The second replies then spits. But he'll get what he gets. Then he will. The fizz agrees, testing his blade on his thumb. The two walk on still, talking in the muttering voices. The goblins are tromping away up the sewer. You have found a one clue. I guess the clue about goblin army. In the tunnels under Kare, an army of goblins are massing for attack. I'm quite sure on the very beginning of recording part 2 someone... Maybe Thomas mentioned it, the old guy from the very beginning. About goblins trying to attack the city. Huh. You turn ahead. The other way down the sewer. The way seems to continue on into infinite darkness, but the goblins must have come from somewhere. There is nothing else for it. You strike off along the sewer, hoping to find a way out. It is impossible to tell how much time has passed in the world above. Perhaps the sun has gone down and the stars have come out. But down here, all that you know is that the people of Kare are still throwing their slobs into the grates. 
the water underfoot stinks and the ducks above your head rain with thick filth. You reach a junction of two sewers, one way sealed by greeting. I can't really zoom much out here. Oh, there you go. Should be just good enough. I guess we go we should go to the left. There are no ladders up from this stretch of sewer. You might have walked more than the whole white width of the city by now and be out under the backlands themselves. Or what if the sewer forms a great circle and you are simply walking around and around slowly carving a deeper channel for the field? You emerge into a small chamber where a knee deep pool of savage has collected. The liquid is bubbling and as you watch a shape rises from the water, the smooth hide of slim eye eater. It roars gobbing slime and goo at you. Oh my. Okay. I don't want to fight it, I think. It doesn't look too friendly. What I could do here? Do I have something I could use to help myself? Gob. Summon a goblin. Nope. Pearl. Read minds. Required skull cap. I think I have skull cap. Can I can I read mind of the hmm. Peep. Cast change. Poop. Create explosions. I don't have anything which could help me. See there is many stuff I, stuff I can do here. Oh this is the poop again. God damn it. I mean, I could, uh, I could try to zap him, but I could too zip him. Cast teleportation. We don't have green ring. Oh my god, there is so many items which are so easy to miss. We don't have beeswax. That could help us do much damage in the fight. Dos. Cast slowness. Maybe that that would be enough to run away from it. This is probably the most promising one. Let's try it. You cast the spell, slowing the slime eater movements down to a fraction of the previous speed. This should make it much easier to defeat. You draw your sword, which seems a more toothpick compared to a seize of the creature. Then you close in for the kill. Wow, that was like the first fight which I did really really well. The smell is getting worse, splashing through the mud. You raise into the slime eater. The slime eater roars, exposing a soft area beneath its chin. You strike with your sword and it sinks in deep, bringing a fountain of thick green ooze. And then, silence. Two stamina lost, skilled sword play. Very nice, continue. The body of the slime eater sinks down into the muck. Past the slime eater lair is another tunnel. Oh man. Further on the sewer ends and the walkway open on the right. You step gratefully out of the field and muck into a low tunnel. A dead end? Don't do this to me. You are if arrive in a dead end passageway but there is a light here shining from above you look up see a hole in the roof of the sewer 
and even better that is adobe with a bucket hanging from the gap you have found that this used well yeah let's let's test that rope you cannot believe your luck down here in the dark you have been close to thinking you might never escape so you test the rope first expecting it come a free at the slightest stack but it does not it holds secure and firm the clean will be long but it will be safe okay they assured you start climbing. The first few feet are wonderful. <laughs> Field runs clear from your legs, but the rest of the climb is long and makes for hard work. Halfway up. You stop for a rest. Should I pray for eight? I don't think Delphine wouldn't help me here much. Would help me here much. You continue to climb, it takes maybe half an hour of inching your way up the rope, but eventually you reach the top, you are indeed climbing out through a well into an open air. You take a deep, lungful, expecting crisp, fresh air, but what you get is a stale and dusty... Where, where are you now? Oh, Necropolis. You have emerged from the sewer into a wide area of tall trees and short headstones surrounded by, by a tall ironwork fence overgrown with an ivy and grip grid. You are in the Necropolis of the Kare, its city of the dead. The sun is becoming to set already behind the city wall to the north. You must be close to the gate now. Holy crap, I I am actually. It's like I just I just skip it all this. All this story here. Here, look at it. <laughs> okay. I guess uh I mean it's not like I wouldn't say it's like cheating or something, so I think test is quite legit. So I think that would be enough for this episode. Luckily we get out of the sewer just in the one one episode. I kind of was worried it might take longer than that. And we are heading to the north gate. This is looking interesting. Kind of want to check this out in the sec next episode. This, because I'm not sure, can you see my mouse? And should we explore the graveyard for something or just move along huh. I don't know I'm gonna think about it and yeah I'm gonna see you in the next episode of sorcery thank you very much for watching and have a nice day see ya